Hell. <laughs> oh shit, this shit crazy, bro. I'm trying to tell you. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to my channel. Today, we're going to be watching and reacting to 13 Reasons Why, Season 1, Episode 8, Take 4, Side B. Last episode. <clears throat> you know what? All I want to say is Clay just fucking lost it. I understand why, though, but... The last thing, he was dead serious. He was pissed the fuck off. And I know this is a serious show. Um, but the way the writers had done the episode and the way it was, you know, directed and how good the acting was. I mean, they all, they, they fooled me. That's mainly what I was laughing at, that how they fooled me. And that last scene, I'm thinking it's another hallucination. And it was real. And Clay just, all the thoughts that was going through his head throughout the whole episode. And he just lost it. And he didn't give a fuck anymore. That's what I was laughing at. Okay. He just didn't give a fuck. That's not Clay. Completely out of character. That shit was hilarious to me. Um, another thing. I disagree with Hannah on this, on the episode. I've been on her side all the way up until last episode. She did not have to do Zach like that. I will always say that. That was fucked up of her. Um, that's just that. So, let's go ahead and get into the reaction. Again, 13 reasons why. Take four, side B. Well, I like to think I can be helpful to kids who are hurting, who are not in touch with what they're feeling, who are lonely. I'm not lonely. Who may try to hurt themselves. I'm trying to hurt myself. I'm trying to find their way out of a very tough time. You. Hey, screw you! <laughs> okay. He's out of his fucking mind. We play by Hannah's rules. Okay, it's not fair if the tapes get out there because Clay went postal. He's not gonna go public. It feels like he might. Clay's well, just sad, okay? Let him be. Are you getting your stomach things again, Alex? Come sit down a minute. No, what stomach things? He loved her and she died. Okay, he's going. End that little bastard once and for all. That's insane. I don't know. What if we make it look like a. Suicide. Oh, Lord. How tragic is that? I mean, two star-crossed lovers or some shit like that? Grow up. Oh, Just... yeah, exactly. Grow the fuck up. Are you really telling me to grow up? Little mama's boy? Oh, shit. Yeah, I am. Yeah, you need to. I'm talking to Alex. Oh, about what? About how much she misses me. About how much better of a boyfriend I am than you. How she wishes she never broke up with me. I smell bad. Oh, Alex, come on. Fuck you, Alex. What? It's totally true. She was like, Justin smells bad. And I was like, I know. I did not say that. You're a funny guy, Standel. No, you're funny, Justin. What the, let's end the little <laughs> bastard? What, what is that about? It's about protecting ourselves. What, from what? From Hannah's lies. But did she lie? Because I'm really not sure. Because she told the truth about me. <laughs> wow. You know he's full of shit, right? He's a fucking liar. He's not a liar. He can be a pain in the ass, but he's a good person. He's never lied to me. Well, good for him. I saw no one within decades of my age. Until I saw you. You were the only other high school kid in the room. Ryan Shaver. Liberty High's resident intellectual, editor of Lost and Found, general selfish snob. Hannah, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to make you feel embarrassed or humiliated. I know what that's like. You do. I'm a skinny faggot who writes poems. <laughs> I mean, please. <laughs> I don't think you're supposed to use that word. Mm, you're not. I'm allowed. <laughs> well, that was sweet. But what the fuck did he do? I know this is this is his tape. I know it is. Here. Take this, clip it up. It's truck. Uh, it's hands. killing me, y'all. Sorry for the sniffling. You slip. It's killing me, man. That was intense. Um thank you? Yes, thank you. 
I want to write like you. Seriously, can you teach me? Really? You make people feel the things you're feeling. I would be able to do that. <laughs> a couple of hours, a couple of nights a week. Chips and salsa on me. I don't do it for you anymore. That's not it. It has to be. You don't think I'm pretty anymore. Jess. God, no, Jess. You're so beautiful. He got too much shit on his mind. That's what it is. Can we at least get high? You don't even smoke. Yeah, I do. <laughs> don't think about it. He didn't even don't know. It. How you not gonna know that your girl smokes? I can't really feel my arms. Oh, shit! Oh, oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, oh, shit! Oh, what? What? I can't see. I lost a handhold. Give me a second. I'll figure this out. You motherfucker! Hey. He did that hey, shit on purpose. Lady? Today I am wearing lacy black underwear. For the sole purpose of knowing I am wearing them. And underneath that, I am absolutely naked. And I've got skin. No. Miles. Something miles isn't right, bro. That's not. I've got skin to. What was that like? You see Hannah's crime right. scene. How old were you? 17. What was the crime? Suicide. Suicide. <laughs> I know he, he didn't see Hannah. You were there. You saw her. You should publish this. Wow. Oh, this does not leave the same space. People, people like you don't make selfless moves. What the fuck did oh he do? God, dude, like, this shit is crazy. Today I'm wearing lacy black underwear. Oh my god, you fucking dickhead. It's a bitch who's been burned. You asshole. It's her writing. I can totally recognize it. She writes something like this. So humiliating. It has been brought to my attention that Ryan's publication now includes poetry. And since we're doing sonnets this semester, and since you're all going to be distracted by it for the rest of the day anyway, I thought we would take a minute to parse the work of this anonymous poet. <laughs> There's a sort of naked vulnerability to it that I like. It's quite intimate. <laughs> intimate is not a dirty word. Today I am wearing lacy black underwear for the sole purpose of knowing I so am. So you bear your heart to one person and, that, and everybody ends up laughing. That's fucking nuts. She walks up to the door, she leaves this box and goes. I can get up. 45 minutes later, I get the box, I open them, and there's these tapes and a letter. Please take care of these. Listen, and you'll know how. House. And the ambulance is already there. And the cops. Oh, wow, my God. And the front door's open, right? I run inside. And her parents are there. And she's... I got her in a body bag. The hell, Ryan? Anna, what's the secret you couldn't speak to me at school? You know damn well. How could you do that to me? The poem? I did you a favor, Hannah. I mean, you're a beautiful poet. Your work deserved to be heard. You're a self-serving, egotistical fuckwad. <laughs> what you wrote? I mean, you can't teach that. You have to live it. Well, it's my life, Ryan. It's not yours. Exactly. Keep I agree. I, I, now, I mean, I 100% agree with her on There's that. I thought maybe you were in love with her. <laughs> Play... He's gay, bro. You know I'm gay, right? <laughs> what? What? Oh, come on, Clay. Are you serious, bro? No, I didn't know that. How was I supposed to know that? 
It was obvious. I was friends with Hannah. <sighs> yeah, I knew sooner or later we'd want the tapes back. <laughs> you knew? Yeah. Of course, because you want to hear your tape. Yours yet. I, I honestly do not think he has a tape. I think Hannah wanted him to listen to those tapes. To understand why she yeah, did what she did. And I think Tony's full of shit. I don't think he has a tape at all. She was a beautiful, sweet girl and she's gone. Of course, we're supposed to tear her apart. Go after her reputation, her boyfriends, anything she's ever written or said. So don't do it. Don't go after her. Exactly. Don't. You always said that's why you did law. If it didn't happen. I thought you had poetry workshop tonight. You can go. You're never going back. And we need to move. What if my melodies are the ones nobody hears? Hey, is everyone reading that stupid magazine? I'm kind of addicted to it. <laughs> you never read it? No. I mean, listen to this. Some people can recognize a tree front yard and know they've made it home it sounds like shit yeah i agree that's pretty good that's pretty oh, good man. hannah i know right one dark human being that's for sure <laughs> I, like poem, I think but I, i'm not sure i want to hang out with her well duty calls wow only if you realize that was hannah Hell. <laughs> oh shit, this shit crazy, bro. I'm trying to tell you. I'm sorry to bother you at work. I wanted to give you something. It's from Hannah. Yeah. Wow. I know that now. I'm a lost for I, I I don't even know what to say to that. Wow. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. Wow. Uh, I'm just going to say this real quick. My sinus is messing with me. I couldn't even concentrate on reacting or even watching the show. So I know I probably probably gave a horrible reaction. Okay? That was a pretty good episode. I would have to say, though, that was one of the slower episodes of the season so far. Um, not much really going on with this episode. Um... But it still was a good episode, though. It was just, I'm ranking it, I'm ranking it lower than all the rest of them. Um, what Ryan did was pretty fucked up. Um, I think he did that shit on purpose. I think he played her, which a lot of them has played her. Only one person that really haven't played her was Zach. Uh, well, I don't think Jess, I can't remember what Jess did. I don't know if she played her or not, but she just stopped coming to on A's, I think. Yeah, that's what I think. But anyway, still a good episode. I liked the fact that Tony had confined in, in, in Clay uh, and told him why he was doing what he was doing. Um, cause I guess maybe he figured maybe if he would have opened the door, and actually talk to her. That Hannah would still be alive. So I guess he's kind of like blaming himself. But. Hannah dro was dropping tapes off. She was going to do it regardless of what he said. Uh, so. But. As I said overall great episode. This left this. Not as good as the rest of them. Or not. Nah I wouldn't say good. Not as more action packed. 
F the rest of them. Uh, but anyway, if you guys like my reaction and um, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel already, please do. Uh, click that bell for notifications when I upload my next video. And you guys have a good day. Peace.